My name is uh, Shelton Hawkins, and I do a little bit of everything. I started out as just a painter, and then kind of, you know, started working with Project Backboard the last couple of years, and it's been amazing just seeing like the impact of not only my community but all the communities around like the world that we've been able to touch these last years. Last year was probably the most course that, as a team, that we did with Project Backboard. I think we did 31 total basketball courts. And it came up that we was going to do a court in South Carolina. So I told Dan I really wanted to be a part of that court just because my, my background. I lost my dad. My dad got killed in South Carolina. So for me, that time really felt like homecoming. And I'm glad that Project Backboard allowed me to be a part of it. I'm glad that my friends and family got a chance to come out and see some of the cool stuff that I get to do all around the world and it just felt right. Here in South Carolina, uh, waiting on one of my childhood best friends, Rodney Robinson. He's about to come pick me up. Haven't seen him in a while. It's crazy because we literally played middle school basketball, high school basketball, and college basketball together. So this should be fun. Being around him, his son came and visit, and then getting a chance to be around his his dad, who I consider my dad since I lost my dad, was really cool. We got a chance to sit around the table and laugh and just talk about like some of those old classic memories that we haven't talked about in a while. It just felt really good. Hey, Hawks, what? Remember that time you came back down, right? Uh -huh. you, ain't gotta, you ain't got no record. Oh, yeah, we take over. <laughs> seeing them happy and them, seeing them get a chance to see the type of projects that I work on and, and seeing them come out to the event was really cool. That's one thing about Project Backboard that is the best thing is like usually when we go to these places we do get to spend time outside of just working on a project. So it was really kind of cool kind of showing them around South Carolina. So you don't got no arm room? I definitely felt the love and I felt like I was surrounded by you know, people I cared about and, you know, they was there for me the whole process. Again, one of those things that's make working with Project Backboard really dope. The install team gets there kind of early, like Poncho and Kay got there a week before the actual paint and crew came. And they kind of resurface the court together with that nice smooth surface so that the paint will, you know, last a little bit longer and adhere better. We usually snap down the grid making sure that everything lines up with the actual design, everything looks good, and then the larger sections, we always try to squeeze you just for it keeps the, the process going fast, and then the smaller detail stuff, we use the different brushes, and Alyssa's really good with the brushes, so you see a lot of times her kind of coming in, starting the first brush um, strokes, and then us going behind her to kind of make sure everything looks nice and neat. For us, it's, it's always kind of stressful, actually, when we're going through the process of painting a basketball court, but the best feeling is when you're pulling up the tape and you're seeing how crisp those lines are and it's at the end, you're like done. Everybody's like happy, everybody's either going home or people are going to stay for the event. Buffalo Wild Wings did an amazing job um, putting together everything, Mountain Dew, and then, of course, Asia Wilson and her foundation, those people were amazing. And I knew everybody was going to come out and kind of, you know, want to see her do well and want to support her. She came out, she was interacting with everybody. They had the band there from the college. It was just like one of those events where it really felt like, you know, again, it felt like being home. I keep harping on that word because that's what it really felt like. And it was good to see so many people smiling. Asia looked like she had an amazing time. Um, the partners that we worked with on the basketball court were super happy. And I think like that was the first time I kind of felt a little bit better about everything that happened to my dad. So again, I just feel like that's why that South Carolina trip was so important. <sighs> that's it. Now I'm done with this. I could probably be done. Got a day. <laughs>